Hello, this is Steve. Uh, I want to talk to you today about um, about fusing your battery pack, your 18650 battery pack. Uh, I have different types of fuses here that I want to talk about. And the most recent one that I found, I actually found at um, at Osh. It was only like three bucks uh, for this whole roll, um, which is a great deal. And I know when I started making these packs, you know, I was oblivious. I got some information online, and I know the more information we have, the better off we are at building these for safety, longevity, uh, and just basic knowledge. I know this is kind of the way of the future, the 18650 lithium ion. Um, and I've been building packs here for my car. I have a car that I'm, I'm converting to electric. I was going to do my bus here, but uh, I have a, uh, I have a, uh, a Spitfire I'm doing instead. It's a very light car. But anyway, I want to talk to you today about... Um, but fusing these battery packs. So I know we need to fuse them because I know that uh, one of these cells could short. Um, and I know that because when I've been pulling them apart, these batteries here out of the out, out of the um, out of the computers, or these are new ones, but you know a lot of them. So I've been pulling them apart, and some of them are at read zero volts, and you can see here there's some corrosion. See that up there? And this is not. I would say out of a hundred batteries, just one or two. But still, if you have one, if you're driving around and one of these short out or go bad, and you don't have a fuse on it, you could ignite the. You know these things will go up in flames. And so you really need to protect yourself, your your project, your money, your investment, your time, by just fusing these cells. And uh, I've seen a couple of people online do it. Jehu Garcia converted a bus. He's really good, and uh, a couple other people. But uh, I, you know, as far as what fuses to use I wasn't really sure and I was kind of guessing and it was it's not good to guess on something like this so I know these things short out because I have batteries that have shorted out that I've pulled apart and these things are relatively uh, I say relatively new but um here I've opened one up and um they just sh they're cor it's corrosion or I mean I don't, I don't know what it is I'm you know, every once in a while they're just short out. This one's probably rust or... Anyway, it's not good. Um, so I'll go ahead and go over these. So I've tested many of these, but... Uh, but one of the ones I saw online that people are using are this... Are, um, these are just resistors. And they cut these off here. And they have this wire left over that they use for fuses. And I've actually tested this. And it works good. It blows at about... 10 to 12 amps but you know these aren't all the same you know you buy resistors and the gauge isn't always the same and, and you want consistency through your build and these aren't they work yes but how do you know the gauge of wire you're getting is the same every time unless you measure them but I have a whole pack here and I did use these and these do work good um, like I said they can handle the load and they blow it about 10 to 12 amps and then I went online to see if I... Well, okay, so actually, you know what I did? I take that back. The very first thing I did was get this. This is... They use these in Europe. They, have a five, they use these for their house fuses, and they're rated 5, 15, and 30. So I used the 15 on my first battery pack. Um, but, you know, 15 is, is a little high. I want it to blow around 12. The reason why I say that because these are about um, a little over two amps each. Let's just say this is a 90 amp uh, battery pack. My project, um, you know, my electric vehicle is light. It's probably going to call for, you know, two, 300 amps max. And so I want this to run, uh, you know, at 1C, you got two, 2.3 amps. 2C, it's going to be 4.6 amps. 3C, you know, so on and so forth, it's going to be 6.9 amps almost. So, um, I do want these fuses to blow around 10 to 12 amps. I don't expect to be running any more than 400 amps out of my little car. Um, so I do want these to be able to handle the load, but blow at over 10 amps. Um, I don't want these to blow earlier than that because then I'll be driving along, I'll hit the gas, draw a bunch of amps from the controller, and then under normal circumstances, I don't want these to blow. I'll be on the side of the road and I'll be pissed off. So I do want these to blow around 10 to 12 amps. So this is a little high. 
So then I got this online. This is um, a lot of this amperage is based off of uh, thickness of wire, and this is scientific wire. Uh, wow, uh, I got this online. It's point uh, three one five millimeter it's tinned copper wire. They told me this is rated at nine amps. I emailed the company. Uh, this might be a gauge here, but um, uh, I think that is a gauge. Uh, 15 gauge, I believe. Anyway, this is rated at 9. And I've tested it and it works good. And 9 is okay for me. Because um, at 9 amps, for each cell to be running off 9 amps, uh, it would be uh, about f almost 600 amps that I need to draw out of the, um, that will be required of these cells for that to blow. And I don't think I'm going to be asking 600 amps out of this system anyways I did want a little bit more cushion that's a great uh, fuse but I did want maybe 10 or 11 maybe 12 amps um, I do want it to blow around you know 10 11 amps uh, although I am pretty comfortable with with 9 amps but then I found this on um, on a shelf at, at Osh and this is 0 0.41 28 gauge this is actually galvanized steel wire. Um, I got it at three bucks. I figured might as well test it out. As far as gauge goes, I mean, obviously, as far as gauge goes, it's thicker. But um, I did some tests. I did some garage tests, and um, I'll show you right now. I I actually shorted the battery out, which is going to be shorting out about 12 amps, and I blew the fuse, and I ran a load, a six amp load, and it was fine. It wasn't even hot. But so if you wanted to, if you wanted a good idea on on fuses and you you want it to blow around 12 amps uh, then this is actually pretty decent wire I'm sure you can find it online but if you have an Osh near you this is good stuff I'll show you right now Alright, so I'm going to test this. It's uh, three batteries, but this uh, headlight draws about five to six amps. This is your normal headlight. It's an uh, automotive headlight. So it's going to draw about five to six amps. And it's going to stay lit. It's not going to get hot. I don't know if you can see that, but let me see if I can... That was a uh... thanks for watching guys. Here she is, I'm almost done. This is what I'm gonna be powering. The thing is it's tiny and look at this. It's officially electric. Oh yeah. It's a tiny little car. It's like sixteen hundred pounds. <laughs>